and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders 2. Alright, so last time we killed the Air Force, now it's time to take on the Air Force. We need to figure out how to deal with them though, but honestly, I don't know. I feel like they're not as big of a threat. What are you doing, Warwick? I feel like they're not as big of a threat as the Air Force. Like, we could take them on pretty easily right now. But it's about that time in the chapter where we need to level up the base. Alright. Let's see, and that means it's, yep, time for more side quests. Alright, so what do we need here? Uh, Jerome, you're first. I mean, he already has a throne room, okay? It doubles as a bedroom, sure. But it's still a throne room. Wait. Jerome, what are you saying? Jerome? No, listen. We're trying to do tiny living, okay? We need to conserve space. Uh... Four bold banners, brace of braziers... Oh no. So we need to make an enormous room for this. Oh, that goes against everything I've been building towards though. We don't want to expand the castle anymore, Jerome. It takes up space that we can, you, that could be used for other activities. Oof. Okay, I'm going to need to think about how we want to deal with that. Mm. There has to be a way to do this with... Well, you know what? Before I do anything, I'm going to do a little bit of experimentation after this. Oh, we would need a chapel. Oh, wait, I think this one is a blueprint, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a blueprint, darn it. Ah, we can't, like, squeeze that in somewhere then. You know what? No, that's fine, because the chapel is technically like a... Oh, where do you want this? Oh, duh, the place where all the walls were already. Okay, we can, deal. We can do that. But here's the thing. The chapel is technically a separate area from the castle, so I'm, I'm kind of fine with that being kind of big. But I need to figure out, like, where I can put an enormous throne room. Like, what the game wants us to do is obviously break down the wall over here and, like, turn this entire area into a big throne room. Because it's literally built for it already. There's the doors here, the place for the braziers, and the banners. But I don't want to do that. That would, like, double the size of this part of the castle, and we can't have that, okay? We need to figure out how to make an enormous throne room without, like, hmm. How to make an enormous throne room without, uh, what is it? Without, like, changing the overall, almost, like, area of the castle. Like, I don't want to expand any further up is the thing. And I don't really want to expand too much further back. I'm also going to get rid of these for now. I might move them over up uh, to the front. Also, you know what? I'm going to get rid of the water. That's going to make... Oops. That's going to make building a little bit annoying. You know what we could do? Okay, this room is a large room, so it only needs a little bit more to be enormous. What we could do is we could expand the throne room to also encompass this room. The only issue with that is I believe rooms can only be like one tile. Oh, no, put that back. Rooms can only be, like, have a one-tile height difference to be considered the same room. So, like, if we break down this door... Yeah, this is considered, still considered an entirely separate room. It's because of the height difference. We can only go down, like, one tile. Okay. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna think about this one. I might just cave and actually make the throne room properly. But there has to be a way around this, right? Also, yeah, let me do a little bit of experimentation to see how many tiles I need. Because, uh, room size is based on the floor tiles. In fact, I'm just gonna use this area over here as my experimentation ground. So, let me clean up the area a little bit. I think it requires a hundred tiles to be considered, like, an enormous room. But, yeah, let me try to figure this out real quick. Oh, while we're doing this, I'm going to go put down the chapel blueprint. Because, yeah, it's a blueprint, so the townspeople can build it for me. 
Here, I'm gonna clean up this area and just put it down here where the game wants me to. Like I said, I did not design this blueprint, so I'm not counting it as part of the castle. Like, the current front of the castle walls is my absolute limit. I'm not gonna build any further up from there. Alright, is this gonna fit, by the way? Uh, yeah, I think this should fit. So if we, like, line it up properly... There we go. Alright, what do we need for this? Hold on, what do we need for this? We need castle walls, buttresses, carpet, columns... Alright, we need a bunch of stuff. I think I actually have most of this already. We might need to get some more... Uh, windows at some point. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. I don't think we actually need any more windows. Because I think I know where I can get some more. Hold on. Let me uh, put these down real quick. We can literally use any chest nearby. Hold on. Do we need more windows? We have six already. We need... 16. Okay. Fortunately, I think I know where I can get some more. So there was that old abandoned, like, chapel over here that we kind of rescued Esther from. I don't think she would mind if we, like, looted the place, right? Like, no one's using it anymore. So I'm just gonna break it down a bit. Don't mind me. Like, no one's using this chapel anymore, okay? Like, there's a giant hole in the wall. Who would want to use it right now? But yeah, I'm just gonna take all the windows here so I don't have to make my own. In fact, I think I can pretty much make... I think there's still a couple of things I need to actually build myself, but for the most part, this should cover all the materials we need. I think the only thing we're missing is, like, carpeting. Apparently this chapel did not have carpeting. I'm also going to take all the castle walls, because why not? Oh yeah, I need to also upgrade the throne at some point. We'll do that when we get back. In fact, you know what? When we get back, I'm just going to, like, upgrade everything I can. I'm, or I'm going to do all the building I need. In fact, let's head back right now. Okay, let- oh, right, I'm slow. One minute, I got it. Okay, so let me see, what do we need? We need 21 carpet, I got that. I need five pieces of column. Uh, what else do we need? Two candles. You know what, I'm gonna make a couple of coffins. I should probably move those bodies and get them buried. Oh, whoops, made an extra one. That's fine. Uh, we have an altar already. Oh, the throne. Give me that. Also, yeah, because the room changed, everyone's just going to run over there. That's fine. Okay, so we got the throne. What else do we need? Uh, four banners. Let me make those real quick. We also need... Is that everything? Oh, I guess that's everything. Never mind. We're good. Also, let's make some more marble. Or some more castle walls. I'm gonna need these. Alright, let me go put down what I need. And then we're gonna start thinking about building the throne room. Oh, wait. Right. I want to experiment a bit. Just to see, like, how much room I'm gonna need. Because, yeah, it has to be enormous, unfortunately. That's kind of non-negotiable. Just because that's the requirement of the mission. But I have to find a way to make this work, okay? We're trying to minimize... Something. What was the entire point of the whole tiny living, like... Or small living trend, I guess? I know that was a thing a few years ago. Entirely because I remember the tiny living expansion pack for Sims 4. That's literally the only reason I know about it. Oh, I don't need all those. Give me those. That's literally the only reason I know about, like, the whole tiny living thing. Well, anyways, we're still going to try to, like, adhere to that, though. So, let me see. Let's do a little bit of experimentation about how much room we're going to need. Well, first things first, I'm going to need to clear some room down here. Also, you know what? 
I'll find a good place in the coffins later. Okay, so I think we need at least a hundred floor tiles. So let me see something. Actually, I'm not going to use actual castle walls. What do I have? Uh, I think I have a ton of snow, don't I? I have a lot of chalk. Okay, I have a ton of snow. Yeah, let's use this. Alright, let me see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's go out and just see how, like, how much we need until the room is considered enormous. So my hunch is 100. So we need to build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we need to build all the way out here. Let me see. Because once I know how many floor tiles I'm going to need, that's going to, like, inform me of how I can do this. So, yeah, my original idea is probably just to expand into the bell room, but... The only problem is because of the different levels, and we can't move the bell. That's going to make things a little bit complicated. The other option is to just do what the game wants me to do and expand into, like, this front room, or, like, front rumpus room over here, but... I don't want to do that. Where's the fun in that? Oh, actually, wait, I didn't see this. Oh, throne room door, perfect. How big is this, by the way? I think it's pretty big. Oh, yeah, it's pretty big. I think that's supposed... Yeah, it's literally supposed to go right here because it fits perfectly with these stairs. I did not mean to do that. Whoops. All right, I'll think of something, though. So is this enormous yet? This is... Okay, this is exactly enormous. So I was right. It's 100 tiles to be considered enormous. Hmm. Uh oh. Hope that didn't screw up the recording. Should be fine, right? Game kind of flickered for a second there. It's fine. Oh, I'm starving. Alright, let me see here. Hmm. Also, why is this floating here? There we go. So I need to figure out... I need to figure out how to squeeze 100 tiles into my castle. Also, how wide is the new throne? Is it still... It's three across now. Actually, no, it's always been three across. Okay. Let me see here. So I guess we could use, like, our existing throne room, but... I could also just turn into a separate room where, like... We don't need to put the throne room in here, is the thing. Hmm. There has to be room somewhere. Like, maybe we could... Oh! I have an idea. Hold on. Let me see something. I need to see where the borders of my castle is. Also, I forgot I had my poison pool over here. Whoops. I wanted to store that poison water for later, but I kind of forgot I put it there. Oh, by the way, what do we need for the chapel? Are we done yet? Castle walls. Oh, we need carpet. I forgot to put carpet in. Wait, did I forget to put carpet in? No, I put carpet in there, right? Where's the chest? Oh, I think we need more. No, wait, no, I forgot to put the carpet in. Whoops. Hold on, let me give him a bit more in terms of castle walls. Where's the carpet? I thought I made carpet. There it is. That's what I forgot to put in. Oh, by the way, how, is, uh, how are things going out here? Perfect. See, I told you, we don't really need to worry about the scare force. They're not that hard to beat compared to, like, the air force. where We couldn't even hit them. All right, so now that we have those going, but I have an idea. Hold on. Let me see here. I need to figure out where the borders of my castle is. So this, okay, this is the, we literally can't build any further back from here. Then we'll be outside the castle area. So from this tile outward, we cannot, or, yeah, from this tile outward, we cannot build. So we need to squeeze it all in from here. But here's the thing. Hmm. Do we have enough tiles to do this? I think we might. So what if we, like, make the throne room over here, and then make it wrap around the castle and exit out the other side? 
because that would keep our overall like compact nature of the castle and still have an enormous throne room because it's gonna entirely based on like the number of tiles the floor is in fact you know what if we're gonna be doing this i'm gonna need to clear out some space or we don't need to clear out space but i do want to get back some castle balls here also i think there's an airplane flying outside that's fine hopefully that doesn't get picked up on the recording all right but here's the thing so let me see here what if we so if we put the throne like over here and then we just like make a giant snaking hallway what the why is there a hole in the wall oh wait no that's just a broken i'll fix that later what if we like and then make it like snake all the way through here all the way through here around here oh height difference though okay that's fine we'll like raise things up over here to make it actually work raise it all the way over here oh i need to move the bodies too uh we'll get those buried in a second so we wrap around here we're still inside the castle still right yeah we're still inside the castle because we can see the experience bar we wrap around here all the way to here and have it like exit over here that way we can keep the general like structure of our cat well mm, i did say i didn't want to build past this area though so i think this should still work yeah we'll need to put oh hmm Okay, we'll have to put the entrance, like, near the bedroom area, because I don't think I can fit a door here, but this should work. You know what? Let's do it. Okay, first things first, though. I'm going to need to move these bodies, so let's, uh, let's have a burial chamber somewhere. Maybe, like, over here. In fact, you know what? We're not going to waste room for a throne room here. We're going to make this, like, into where we keep our coffins you know make the space actually useful because listen throne rooms are oh hey we're done throne rooms aren't really the best use of space like i said we're trying to conserve space here for the important things okay Oop. like now look 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 we have so much space for activities where'd the body go Man, Esther, you're the best. Please don't be the traitor. Oh, yeah, listen, everyone's literally screaming at him for not having a reflection. Vampires are people too, okay? Alright, well, chapel's done. So now all that's left is to build the throne room. Let me also grab all the, uh, hearts we got from that. Okay. So let me just finish moving the bodies. Yeah, where'd the other body go? Oh, I think I dropped it when I accidentally talked to Malroth. Whoops. Uh, we'll get that in a second. So let's just get these all over here. If we have to, we'll move the coffins later. But this will do for now. Didn't I have more of these guys? Oh, wait, they're over there near the hole in the wall, right? Okay, we'll grab them later. We'll just, like, gradually move all the bodies into this area. But yeah, I'm gonna have to move some of the doors around, unfortunately, just because... Uh, what is it? Because of the height requirement for rooms to be the same room... Hmm, okay, that's fine. Uh, so let's actually begin building here then. So I'm gonna need every single tile I can spare. So I'm gonna destroy this corner and make it into like a proper corner. You know what, I'm gonna make a square corner. As cool as like rounded corners are, they're not space efficient, okay? And like I said before, we literally need every single... Oop, what the... Weird. We're going to need every single tile we can get. And square corners are just more efficient. So the throne is going to be here. And then we're going to start building from here then. So yeah, we're just going to make a separate bedroom area at this point. That's fine. Oh, we're going to need to move our... Yeah, we're going to need to move our crafting benches. I guess we don't really have to. 
We already have a crafting bench in the other room. Okay, so let me make sure this actually is considered a room. If we have to, we could make the, uh, what is it, the hallway a bit wider as well. Oh, wait, we need a door. Guys, don't sleep in here. Hold on, let me get the door down. Yeah, we're gonna need to put the entrance here, unfortunately, just because there's not enough room on the other side for a door. Uh, is that wide enough? Needs to be a little bit wider. Perfect. Wait. Is this not a door? This is a uh, room. Perfect. So we now have a small room, but we're going to need to expand this. We need to get a hundred tiles into this, like, tiny, tiny room. Oh, I also need food. One minute. Let me quickly feed myself. Yeah, at some point we should also probably get ourselves a bigger potato garden. Like, as funny as it is, our current potato garden's just not big enough to feed everyone. Uh... We could just turn this entire giant space into a potato garden. But that's still... Uh, but I still want it to be part of the castle. Okay, you know what? We'll figure it out later. Maybe we... Actually, wait. Does a potato garden have to be a separate room? I think by definition it does. So yeah, maybe we'll like... I don't know. Put a potato garden like in the courtyard area. I think that would be a good place. Good like use of uh, extra space, right? Right. Alright, let me get back to building. So yeah, we're gonna need to start expanding this hallway out. Now the real issue is when we get to like this part where like it starts dropping. We're gonna need to raise this area up a bit. Ah, uh, we're gonna need a lot of tile. And then we're gonna need to raise this area up so that's like level. Hmm. This is gonna be a it's gonna take a little bit of adjustment, but I think we can make this work. Oh, we're also gonna need castle walls. We're gonna need a lot more castle walls. Hold on, am I out of marble? We might need more marble. We are out of marble. Okay, I'm gonna need to get some more later. That's fine. Actually, you know what else we could do? We're not gonna be building back here, so I'm just gonna grab all these castle walls no one's using. No one else is using it, I might as well make use of it. It's not like we're going to be using this area, though. I do want to keep the outer walls up, just to, like, give the impression to the enemy that we're a giant, powerful castle. But, I mean, we are a giant, powerful castle, but we're just, like, in a tiny space to, like, conserve energy or whatever. Okay. We'll make use of all these castle walls. There we go. That's probably still not enough, but it'll do for now. Also, I want to do a little bit of experimentation real quick, just to make sure this will work. Because I believe we can go, like I said, one tile down, and it'll still be considered the same room. I need to also do something with my poison pit. I keep forgetting I have that. Okay, so I think... If this works, that will make things a little bit easier. Oh, we're under attack, so I'm going to go take care of that. So is this still considered part of the same room? Oh, wait, no, it's not? Am I missing a corner or something? Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, there we go. So the walls still have to be even, but we can go one tile down and it'll still be part of the same room. Got it. Okay, that does make things a little bit simpler, then. So let me see here. We're gonna need to build... Oops. We're gonna need to build out this way. Okay, at this point, we're gonna need to raise up this entire area. I need to figure out what I need to do with the door, though. Maybe I'll do, like... Maybe we'll do, like, this one and just put some stairs down. We'll see. Also, how is the attack going? Are we dealing with them? 
Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Did they? Oh, they broke the gate. Oh, they actually broke the gate. Uh, huh. Okay, maybe I see where they're coming from when they said that we kind of need better, like, fortifications. They're actually getting to the main er castle area. Or what they think is the main castle area. In fact, it's just a giant empty courtyard. See, I told you there's an advantage in not building so far up. Anyways, I think... Hmm. Alright, I think with that, I think we're going to end things here instead. And then next time on... Oh, camera. Next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders 2, we're going to try to finish up the throne room. Like I said, this might not be enough space and we might need to adjust our plans a little bit. But I think this will work. We just got to make sure we take every single tile we can with the limited amount of space we have. Alright, so, till next time.